Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer. Sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We read everything on the label. We check out the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. First of all, though, all beer should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The good folks at Thermoworks sent me one of their uh, lollipop thermometers. That's what we use to test the temperature of all of our beers. But if you want to know the correct temperature for your beer, just click on the banner right up there and I'll let you know. Also, most <coughs> we always have the same style of glassware for all of our beers. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, most people when they do a tasting, they take a look. They sniff, they sip, and then they pontificate. Well, I sip first. Why? I'll let wine expert Fred Dax explain it all to you. He does it a lot better than I can. All right, well, what do we have here? You had a tease right there from Lawson's Finest Liquids up in Vermont. The finest, freshest, always keep cold. Nitro Stout, an Irish style dry stout straight from the Green Mountains to your head. <laughs> All right, 5.4% alcohol by volume. This taproom favorite utilizes authentic Irish malts to deliver notes of chocolate and roast that are elevated by a dose of nitrogen during canning. Shake can gently, pour vigorously, and enjoy in an imperial pint. Lawson's Finest Liquids, our name is our promise. We protect freshness with a singular commitment to cold, cold storage, cold ship, cold shelved. All to keep every beer the freshest from the brewery to your first sip. Visit us in Waitsfield, Vermont or at lawsonsfinest.com. One pint straight from the mountains, the green mountains to your head. $5.99 at the local beer barrel. All right, well, <clears throat> a nitro stout. That's a, uh, we all know what a stout is. And uh, when it's a nitro, it means that it's got the smaller carbonate, uh, <clears throat> the smaller uh, uh, atmospheres in it. So uh, we're gonna crack this open and see if it meets expectations. That's a pretty standard level. Let's see how it does. All right. Well, yes, sir, that is a stout. And I forgot to shake it vigorously, which would be. <coughs> And I probably didn't, well, there's the cascade, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't quite do it right, but it certainly does. It looks like a stout, there's no doubt about that. Here we go. It's at 46 degrees, 47 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's right there, <clears throat> it's the right temperature. It's the right look. Let's see if it tastes like a stout. Cheers. I tell you, I had to take two sips because it is, it's a little in the mid afternoon. My taste buds are usually siesta, so they have to be woke. Well, they, they've been woke, all right. Let's see what their little, uh, factory friends have to say. A roasted grain, a kiln grain, that's certainly in the aromatics. Well, let's see what the taste buds think. That's a nicely balanced stout. It doesn't have the rasp of a Guinness but it has the kilned, roasted flavor of the malt 
that is just absolutely spot on. The balance between that and the hops, there's a little but there's a touch of hops, but it's it is enough so that it, certainly the kiln just doesn't uh, wash it away. And the aromatic is spot on as you can see as well as the head. So does Lawson's Finest Liquids Nitro Stout, Irish style dry stout, meet expectations? It certainly does. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.